might look lively. He's a sneaky one. This time he ain't getting past us. See him? No. Keep looking. What is this? Oh, we're back. That was a quick trip. Um... What is this? The ambush is the other way. What am I doing? Okay, so uh, just repeating this. So I'm going to go here. Different. Doesn't look like it. That dude's still knocked out. That was he working on down there, anyways. I guess it's, that's right, the art. We saw that. Um. Back over here and talk to Mo. I don't know what's going on. Nah. I've oh. already said my goodbyes. Okay. Out up here. Let's get back to the bike then, huh? Oh yeah, look, I'm back on the bike. Okay. Ben, how'd you get behind us? Where are the suits? Corley's making a pit stop. He has a bladder the size of a thimble, man. Ripburger? Haven't seen him in a while. Ben, man, what's the deal? Did you find something up the road? Are we headed for trouble? No. We're in it. Put my head in a basket Cause I'd had a tank full When she blew my gasket I surely was thankful Till I head for the skies up above It's a woman with wheels that I love yeah. Come on, old man, I gotcha What? Now, oh, okay. do something incriminating Like ambush some Aha, the plot thickens Damn. You shouldn't have laughed at me in those board meetings, Malcolm. What a psycho. Gotcha. Hey, look what I found in the bush. What is that? It's a chokehold. Come here and I'll demonstrate. It's got a camera. It's, it's got a camera? No. Nestor will take care of her. You have an important engagement with the rest Nestor? of the Corley family. Right. But don't forget to destroy that camera. Yeah, yeah. Now then, Malcolm. How about one for the road? Corley? Corley? Ben! <coughs> I guess Rip Burger couldn't wait for natural causes. 
just like him to hit a man when his flies down. <laughs> <coughs> Rip Burger did this to you? Yeah, he knew I was dying, and he knew that my will would put him out of a job. He wants to take over Corley Motors, Ben. Sell it off to foreigners, lay off workers, start making minivans. You understand me? Minivans! <laughs> <coughs> you gotta hurt him for me, Ben. Promise me, you'll hurt him bad. I promise. <coughs> I want my daughter to take over the company. You have a daughter? Yeah, and she's a real mechanical genius, Ben. Rebuilt the first carburetor when she Who was could that four. be? Eh, I used to call her the diaper dynamo. <coughs> Find my daughter, Ben. Find Maureen. Oh. Maureen? Well, he actually opened his eyes. His eyes for that one. Uh oh. How come the audio is still off from time to time? It's really Burger's weird. Way ahead of me. I just hope Marine can handle herself until I get there. Hmm. Gun, I understand. Why do you bring a camera? Who does this guy work for? Holy motors! Nestor, what's that moving over there by that pile? I don't know, Rip, but I think that pile is Bolus. <sighs> yes, now I remember. You're the smart. There's Mo's shack. What is happening? And I don't see the memo. This game is a glitchy mess. One second thought. Maybe I didn't. <laughs> Looks like someone searched this place in a hurry. Nothing left but debris, except for that smashed up camera. Back's open. No film inside. Hmm. Mo said she didn't have a camera. Here's Mo's picture of her and her Uncle Pete at his mink ranch. She said she went there whenever she needed to get away for a while. That's pretty much my only lead right now. Can we go in here? Nothing. All right. Way yet? Looks like it. Okay. I guess we're going to go inside. Hey, killer. What? Hey, it's cool. Your secret's safe with me. What secret? Haven't you been watching the news? Once again, our top story tonight, Malcolm Corley, owner of Corley Motors, was found dead at a rest stop just outside the town of Melonweed. Apparently, the benevolent patriarch and CEO was viciously beaten about the head and neck, savagely and without mercy. Police have arrested a notorious outlaw biker gang known as the Polecats. No. With the exception of their leader, who is still at large. Roadblocks have been set up along Highway 9 in an effort to apprehend this dangerous and violent criminal. We've been set up. Roadblocks suck. I shouldn't have left the gang there. <laughs> hey, I don't want to hear anything about it. You ain't making me an accessory after the fact. Just lay low, man. Roadblocks suck. Emmett. Who's Emmett? 
<laughs> I can do that. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Seem to have a lot of time on your hands. Not to mention Nixon scratches. <laughs> Am I distracting you? <laughs> Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. <laughs> you get in here and it's not what you'd call an i'm okay you're okay person ah shut your hole quo hub go look around Oh, the camera girl. No time to talk. You know, it's stank in there, but I can't remember a better sleep. You gotta help me. Go find my editor in Corville. Tell him I took pictures of the Corley murder. You got pictures? Yeah, but some thug took my camera. So you don't have any pictures? Well, I tracked the guy to Melonweed, but I'm not going near the place. They kill me! Get my editor. He's gotta get me out of this. Take one of these fake IDs to get through the roadblocks. Oh, that helps. My career is riding on those pictures. Help me, Ben. You're my only hope. Nice. Oh, don't worry. I owe you one. <laughs> if Miranda's thug is the same one that trashed Moe's place, that could be Miranda's camera I saw there. But then, who's got the film? Uh... Oh, Ms. Wood. Go away! You're blowing my cover! No. <laughs> no. Eh. Okay. Let's go back. Let's talk to this guy some more. He doesn't look happy. <laughs> Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. <laughs> Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Only if it will shut you up. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, yeah, you sure are good at that, buddy. You're pathetic. <laughs> I just killed a guy? Uh... That's your truck out front. I need a ride. I look like a cabbie to you. Get lost. 
They're not letting anyone through that roadblock anyway. Not even truckers? They turned me around, said police business only. Pigs. Look, I really need a ride. Not gonna happen. Why? Because you're afraid of some cops? No, because I don't like you. I don't think that's good for the table. <laughs> hey, Quahog. Yeah, Emmett? I'm gonna be knifing up your table for a while, all right? The customer with the knife is always right. I guess we're st stuck with this one. I just killed a guy. I'm just about to. Let me try that again. Only if it'll shut you up. Oh, yeah, you sure are good at that, buddy. You're pathetic. Uh, let's see. What is this? What is that? A mediocre fake ID. Oh. No notices the correction fluid under the name. Here. What's that? Fake federal investigator ID. Could be of some use at one of those roadblocks. Ever hear of this place? Uncle Pete's Mink Ranch. I remember there used to be some sort of weasel plantation or, or something up the road. Down Highway 9 on the other side of them damn roadblocks. I used to pick up mink meat there real cheap and sell it to school lunch programs. <laughs> that was a good scam. So how about a ride? What if they search the back and find my bike? It's buried in a pile of concentrated fertilizer powder. Trust me, no one's gonna dig through that crap. Now you're gonna ride in the engine compartment. The engine compartment? Hey, I smuggle stuff in there all the time, and most of it's worth more than you. So stuff your carcass in there quick, and we might hit that mink dump by morning. Hope you're better with a stick shift than you are with a knife. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> The technology in, in this world is weird. Oh, great. Smells like he's got a fuel leak. I love engine fires. Sorry, sir. Only police vehicles beyond this point. I'm with the bed, jump. Check it out. Huh? What's this about? Undercover agricultural sting operation. What's in the back? Fertilizer. All right, move along. Hope you will get your man. 